So today I wanna to show you guys Melissa, Texas. What's awesome about the huge amount of growth happening in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now is that people are starting to move outside of the norm, the normal city limits. And Melissa is a great example of that because there's been huge growth out here. And it's awesome because it's still a small town feel, but yet new construction and new shopping centers. That's why I started here is because I wanted to show you guys without making you dizzy, what's happening. And there's construction in the background because they're not even done with this strip center. And so I'm gonna show you today a little bit about Melissa. It's literally seven miles from downtown McKinney. You may not have a huge amount of shopping options here, but again, if you've watched my McKinney video, you know that I love downtown McKinney. It's six blocks full of amazing shops and eateries, and that's literally seven miles. So you're really close to all that you would want shopping wise, but far enough out that if you went on a small little farm, you have that option and it won't break the bank. So. I'm going to show you different things about, Mc, um, not McKinney, but Melissa today. And I'm going to show you three different subdivisions and all of them are new construction because we're, the growth here has been crazy. So I am going to show you subdivisions today that are new construction. And that's a lot of what's going on out here. Can you get an older home? Absolutely. And if that's something you're interested, let me know. Melissa, like the rest of Dallas Fourth, is having a huge growth spurt. The average home price on Melissa is five hundred and twenty-three thousand. It's risen a little over eleven percent within the last year. So we do have a bit of a growth spurt. But the developers who are developing Melissa actually have really thought it out well, so that it flows very, very nicely because it is one of the fastest growing communities in North Dallas. And right now the population is about 14,000 and the average median household income is 120,000. Niche.com actually gave Melissa an A rating. Their school system, they have their own school district. It's Melissa ISD. They have one high school, one junior high and two elementaries and they're all A rated and they're all in the top 5% of the state of Texas. If you're ever wondering about uh, a city or even the schools, you can go to greatschools.org and you can also go to niche.com. Niche.com is going to give you all types of neighborhood information and I find it very valuable because they are objective and they just take the stats for the city and give it a rating. So definitely check that out. Doing any type of research on Melissa, I've most found positive reviews. There were a couple of negative about, from locals and that was really about the construction which is kind of the name of the game when people are starting to move out of a metroplex to get better pricing or more land or smaller school districts. So that's just how it's gonna be moving out here, but still a great option. I also think it's a fun fact for you guys to know the median age in Melissa is actually 30. So there are a lot of young couples living out here. And so the whole town is gonna grow up together, which is really fun. I also wanted to tell you about the growth that they've seen since 2010. They've had 243% growth here in Melissa since 2010. That's crazy, but you can see that it's booming. Now, what I wanna do is take you to those three subdivisions, show you some houses, show you some price points of what Melissa has to offer right now. So let's go. Okay, so we're here at Meadow Run. This is a new construction master planned neighborhood. It's got a resort style pool. It's got a couple of jogging paths. There is a basketball court in the newer side. When I say newer, they're all new, but there is a newer series going up right now. They are anywhere from 449 all the way up to 650. Uh, there's a lot of them that are ready to move in. You can still build and choose some of your finish out. The main builder here is Ashton Woods, which is right, the sign right behind me. They do have a model, so I'm gonna take you in and show you the model right now. So let's go. So models are always beautiful and it kind of always shows you the upgrades. So not everything is completely included, but it's still a really great layout. You've got a upfront room and the bathroom that, that these two rooms are gonna share. This is luxury vinyl floors. And if you guys haven't looked into that, they're the new rage because not only are they virtually indestructible, but they are waterproof.
So this is the living, kitchen, and dining room. And a lot of builders aren't necessarily doing formal dining rooms anymore. They're creating a full entertaining space and including it all in one big room so that you have more interaction versus going to another room for your dining room. So we've got beautiful quartz countertops, wonderful room for a table and a family, a large family. You've got a marble backsplash with black cabinetry, which is actually all the rage right now. I love black cabinetry. A really great walk-in pantry. So the master bedroom is a really great size because you've got a king bed plus two nightstands. And then we've got the master bathroom. Got two sinks, a stand-up shower, and then let's look at the closet. So that kind of gave you a view of a four bedroom, two bath home that is a great space to live in. So again, Ashton Woods building out here and I can get you all the information you want. Just comment below or text me. Text me at this phone number. It's the fastest way to reach me. Let me show you around the neighborhood. So now I'm in the very new subdivision of Mill Rainey and it's beautiful because Union Main's here, K-Hop Nannian's here and a couple of others. I'm gonna show you into the model of Union Main. Right now they have everything from 2,000 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, all the way up to almost 4,000 square feet. And their base price is a little like low, low 400s, all the way up to almost 700, depending on size and upgrades and all the different things. But you guys are gonna love this. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm just gonna show you the house.
So now I'm gonna take you into Chaos Nanyan. They're one of my favorite builders just because I love their details and I love the options that they have. And so remember, you can buy a house here that's already done or you could build, which takes probably a year, but you get to pick out everything that you want. So again, Chaos Nanyan, high fours to almost sevens and everything in between. So I'm gonna take you into this because it's amazing. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about Union Maine. All of theirs come with a study as well. And I think that's super important now that so many people are working from home. So let's go check out Kahob. One thing I wanna point out about this section is this is actually a mother-in-law suite with a door that can separate and you can have your living room, your kitchenette, and then bedroom and bathroom. So if that's something that you guys need, know that k Nanian can make it happen. So something you else you need to know about living in Texas is Bucky's and it's famous. I mean, you can get anything. It's like a it's like the Galleria of gas stations. It's like the Neiman Marcus. It's amazing. You can get anything in there that you want. I'm gonna take you in and show you, but it's one of the biggest, most elaborate gas stations known to mankind. And I don't know if you can see all the gasoline stalls, but there's I mean at least there's gotta be over a hundred of them. So nobody's gonna have to wait in line for gas, but I'm gonna take you in and show you inside because it's gonna amaze you. I mean, they literally have everything from barbecue to blankets, to drinks, to coloring books to swimsuits, anything that you would want is here at Bucky's. It's amazing and it's world renowned. So if you come to Melissa, you need to make sure that you check out Bucky's and their barbecue because it's freaking amazing.
So I hope you found Bucky's just as fun as everybody else. People drive from miles and miles and miles around to come to this Bucky's. Not to mention, they've got amazing clean bathrooms and stalls and stalls and stalls. You're never gonna have to wait. Especially for women, we always have to wait in a line. Guys don't, that's crazy. But what I'm gonna do is before we go to the next subdivision, I'm going to actually give this to somebody. So anyone that comments below, tell me when you're moving to Texas or when you think you're moving to Texas, I'm gonna put you into a drawing and I'm gonna give this mug away. It's awesome. Keeps your stuff hot and cold. You're gonna want it. So comment below and then let's get to Liberty. So now I'm in Liberty and this is the last place that I was gonna bring you guys because it's got higher priced homes in it. There are two parts of Liberty. There's an older part and a newer part. And as you can see, there are a ton of model homes behind me. Perry Homes is building in here, Highland and Cahovnanian. And I think the highest price point I saw was in the 700s. But in the older part of Liberty, you can still get something in the 500s. So it's not too expensive. But these builders are a couple of my favorite and I just think they have stellar products and wanted to show them to you. I'll take you in to a couple of the models and give you a quick tour. But this master plan community has a resort style pool. It's got major trails. It's got a sports court. It's got splash pads. It's got a catch and release pond and so many other things. It's very family friendly and you'll see people you know, coming home from work, you'll see people walking with strollers and kids on bikes. And so it's just a really great neighborhood. So if you want to move out to Melissa, definitely check out Liberty. Um, you can ask me questions. I can get you any builder information. I know that they are still building, so you could do a spec or build to suit, which takes longer, but you can definitely pick out all the things that you want. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the neighborhood so you can kind of see what the houses look like. 